Guys, as we enter into 2025, the landscape of enterprise technology is undergoing a systematic shift, with SAP standing at the forefront of this particular transformation. And here, you will be shocked to know that SAP systems are about to process over $1.5 trillion in the global commerce daily. Not just that, but by the end of this year 2025, we will need 150,000 more SAP professionals worldwide. That clearly tells the future of SAP isn't just evolving, but it's exploding. Hello and welcome everyone to this video on the future of SAP in 2025 predictions and trends by Zarentech, where we will basically explore some predictions and trends for SAP in 2025 and beyond. Okay, now let me share some fresh numbers with you. Only 26% of SAP finance teams have fully moved to cloud environments, but 42% are planning to make the move in the next year. So that's not just a trend, but that's a revolution in making. So over and all, this year 2025 represents a pivotal moment for both SAP and its users, with the planned end of support for legacy ERP systems like ECC by the year 2027, businesses are racing to adapt S4 HANA's SAP's next-gen ERP platform. And at the same time, SAP is doubling down on its cloud-first strategy, aiming to surpass 12.5 billion euros in the cloud revenue while targeting the total revenue of 37.5 billion euros. But this is just the beginning. The integration of cutting-edge technologies such as artificial intelligence, machine learning, and advanced analytics is reshaping how organizations interact with SAP systems. Okay, now before we begin with this particular video, make sure you subscribe to our Zarin Tech YouTube channel and hit that bell icon for regular updates from us. So let's start with our trend number one, SAP S4 HANA migration deadline for 2025. So basically, this trend revolves around the much-anticipated SAP S4 HANA migration deadline. So while the official end of support date for the legacy ERP systems like SAP ECC has been extended to the year 2027, yet many organizations are treating 2025 as a de facto deadline there. Why? Because rising cost, resource constraints, and the complexity of migration make it essential for them to act sooner rather than later. And migration to S4 HANA is no small feat. It often requires 12 to 18 months or even more with challenges such as data migration, infrastructure upgrades like adopting to HANA as a database, and creating robust testing environments there. As of late 2024, only 57% of enterprises using on-premises ECC solutions are on track to fully migrate by the year 2027. Now let's have a look at our trend number two, the ambitious cloud revenue target of 12.5 billion plus euros. So SAP's ambitious 2025 strategy places the cloud first operation at its core with a bold target of achieving over 12.5 billion euros in cloud revenue by 2025. And this contributed to the total projected revenue exceeding 37.5 billion euros. So the momentum is already evident. In quarter three of 2024 alone, SAP reported 3.7 billion euros in cloud revenue, with S4 HANA Cloud contributing 1.03 billion, a year-over-year -year growth of over 24%. And by 2025, predictable revenue streamlines like subscriptions are expected to account for approximately 86% of total revenue, providing them with the greater financial stability. And here, to accelerate adoption and enhance customer experiences, SAP continues to invest heavily in AI and cloud infrastructures. Now, let's move on to our trend number three, AI-driven operational transformation. So artificial intelligence is revolutionizing enterprise operations. And here, SAP is leading this transformation with tools like Joel. It's generative AI co-pilot. So Joel basically automate tasks such as demand forecasting, financial reconciliation, and supply chain optimization while providing them with the actionable recommendations in natural language. For example, in finance, Joel analyzes the past performance to offer them with the budget recommendations. In supply chain management, it predicts the inventory shortages and suggests the corrective actions proactively there. Okay, 
So here, by embedding AI into its core solution, SAP is positioning itself as a leader in business AI innovation, helping organizations achieve smarter decision making and greater productivity for that. Now, let's jump on to our trend number four, strategic procurement evolution with SAP Ariba. So the procurement processes are already undergoing a transformation with enhancements in SAP Ariba that basically focuses on automating and sustainability tracking. AI-powered tools like Ariba Intake Management centralizes the procurement request while ensuring the compliance with company policies, streaming up to 80% of their routine tasks. Sustainability is also a key focus area as Ariba integrates ESG matrices into procurement workflows, enabling businesses to monitor supplier diversity and carbon emissions. And additionally, New analytics add-ons for field glass allow organizations to benchmark external workforce performance against the over 50 KPIs while tracking the sustainability initiatives like supplier diversity. So these innovations align procurement strategies with broader business goals such as cost efficiency and ESG compliance. Now let us see our trend number five. The financial goal for 2025, 11.5 billion euros operating profit and 7.5 billion euros free cash flow. So SAP has already set ambitious financial targets for 2025 that reflects its strong performance and operational efficiency focus. The company aims for a non-IFRS operating profit of approximately 11.5 billion euros by 2025 significant growth compared to prior years and expects the free cash flow of around 7.5 billion during the same period. So these gains are driven by increased profitability and cost savings from its restructuring program launched in the year 2025. And this program alone is expected to contribute 0.5 billion euros in incremental efficiency gains towards these financial goals. That is demonstrating SAP's resilience amid complex market dynamics. Now, lastly, our trend number six, the newly announced 5 billion euros share repurchase program. So talking about this SAP's shareholder focused initiative, a share repurchase program worth up to 5 billion euros announced in May 2023 and set to run until December 31st, 2025. By September 2025, SAP has already repurchased approximately 2.62 billion euros worth of shares at an average price of 157 euros per share, showcasing steady progress towards this goal. And this program reflects SAP's confidence in its long-term growth trajectory while reinforcing investors' trust during its ongoing transformation efforts. The share repurchase complements SAP's broader financial strategy by basically enhancing the shareholder returns while maintaining its focus on innovation and growth. So in conclusion, the future of SAP is marked by innovation, transformation and ambitious goals for growth across multiple dimensions from S4 HANA migration and cloud expansion to AI-driven operations and enhanced procurement strategies, SAP's ability to adapt to evolving market demands while maintaining the financial stability positions it as a leader in enterprise software innovation heading into 2025 and beyond. Now that's all we have for this particular video guys. If you liked it, then please give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to our Zarian Tech YouTube channel for regular updates like this.